Well, it's official. I'm out the grading game. I came in this hobby collecting raw cards, and I'm gonna finish this hobby collecting raw. Uh, grading fees are just too much. Everybody's raised their prices. Um, I think I'm done with grading. Not done collecting, but done grading. Uh, we'll see what Beckett does. Uh, if Beckett uh, stays where they're at, I uh, just might uh, start using Beckett. Uh, and just send little orders to Beckett. If, but if they follow suit with uh, PSA and SGC, then uh, yeah, it's, it's over for me. Done with it. Uh, we'll be collecting uh, raw cards. You see, I got a pretty big collection of raw cards, and actually, this is not even uh, probably not even a quarter of it. But uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely uh, the hobby has turned into a rich man's uh, a rich man's hobby. I'm out. So uh, unless Beckett. Uh, maintains their prices and doesn't follow suit I'm out the game but it's all good I've been uh, actually uh, building sets for the past three months uh, set building you've seen a few uh, videos I've showed some of my sets uh, and uh, actually uh, been organizing uh, buying these uh, these mini snaps uh, by pro mold Getting these things. Uh, and actually, uh, these uh, magnetics, that's what I'm going back to, man. So, as a collector, that's what I'm going to be doing. No more uh, grading, like I said. Uh, it's just too expensive. Tapped out. But uh, check it out. Got some of these in the mail yesterday. First time getting these uh, Pro Mold uh, 35 points. Uh, a penny sleeved card actually fits in this. And uh, they're pretty good. I got something to show right here. So you really can't even tell that, you know, there's a penny sleeve in there. It's a DeAndre Hopkins rookie. Looks good. So uh, I ordered another batch of these. Uh, with the money I was going to use to uh, sub this month, I'm putting it all into uh, binders and uh, these uh, pro molds and some mini snaps. Got some mini snaps on the way. But uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to show you some uh, some cards uh, that I put in these. Uh, pro mold uh, with penny sleeve. So we got the Hopkins, got the Kobe Select. These are all in penny sleeves inside of the magnetic one touch. And oh, one thing, uh, even though this says 35 point, it will not fit in a superior fit. 35 point sleeve I couldn't uh I was trying to put them in and they were tearing the the edges of the superior fit 35 point sleeves but uh the 35 point sleeves uh from superior fit that I was trying to put them in was actually made for ultra pro so I don't know if that plays a difference but uh I didn't have any pro mold 35 points so can't say if they fit in those but they do not fit in a superior fit 35 point uh ultra pro sleeves it did fit i got this one in there but i don't really like the way it looks uh looks kind of smudgy i put this uh it did fit in the 75 point the 75 to 100 point uh superior fit sleeve that's made for uh ultra pro i was able to fit fit these in there and that's what this Kobe's in. 
This is a 75 point superior fit sleeve, 75 to 100 point. So, uh, other than that, uh, I like them. You know, you got the penny sleeve in there. Uh, this way the card, uh, I don't think will get stuck. You know, if you leave it in there a long time, uh, it's just an extra layer of protection. Uh, don't have to worry about the card getting scratched. So, uh, pretty good product. I know uh, some people uh, were putting a penny sleeve before they came out with these. Putting a penny sleeve on top of their chrome cards inside one touches uh, for that extra layer of protection so the chrome cards don't get scratched. Well, you don't have to do that no more. You could just put the card, it's already in a penny sleeve, just drop it in there and close it up fits uh, with the penny sleeve. There's a Shack EX. But uh, I, you know what? I, I, I'm still uh, able to have fun. Uh, I actually enjoy uh, organizing my cards. I don't know. I just, it's weird. Uh, it's not really weird. It uh, keeps me busy. Gives me something to do. And uh, like uh, putting these cards in these uh, pro modes uh, gave me something to do yesterday. Killed uh, killed maybe 20, 30 minutes doing this or maybe an hour because I was trying to select uh, my cards. Which ones I was going to use. But uh, anyways, pretty, pretty good product. Going to continue to buy those. But uh, anyways, uh, since I got all these raw cards out here and this is the way I'm going to go back to collecting, let's look at some. And we'll talk a little bit. So we got the Clyde Drexler, uh, uh, was this the Sterling? Pretty nice. Got a Steph Curry rookie. I never sent it to get graded because the corners are, uh, it's a little bit rough. And uh, I figured uh, it's got a little chipping on the, on the backside right here. It's black. It's got a little chipping. So I never sent it in because I figured it was going to get a four or five. But uh, this card is uh, pretty valuable now, so. Probably still worth a good chunk of money in a four or a five. And uh, especially graded. Uh, I, I'm wondering uh, with this big price increase with the major companies, if that's going to affect uh, the price on slab cards in general. Are they going to just, are we going to see another spike? Any card that's slabbed, you know. How much of a spike is it going to be? Are card, slab cards in general going to just go up another 25, 30%, what, 50%? It's going to be interesting to see what happens. Uh, got a Jeremy Shockey rookie card, Tops Pristine. Always like these. They're numbered too. This one's numbered uh, 199. Pretty nice. Let's see, we got a Jack Youngblood. I think I showed these in a video before. Let's go to a different box. Let's see what we got. Let's check this one out. Let's see what we got up in here. Craig Maddox, these are the mini snaps. Promo mini snaps. I don't know if you can see it right here. Regular card holders. Precise fit. Got the black gold uh, Craig Maddox. I think this box is baseball. Got a Mike Schmidt card. This one's numbered uh, 2000. Got the old school uh, Dave Stewart Stadium Club. And the Tux with the Oakland A's hat. 
like these uh, upper deck cards, uh, these uh, triple exposure. Fernando Valenzuela, Jose Canseco. Got a Ozzy Smith uh, second year card right here. Got an old school Joe Morgan. Rest in peace. Got a 72 tops Vita Blue. I got a ton of ton of cards. Uh, like what I'm showing you that aren't rookies, not grade worthy. Pete Rose, record breaker. I got all kinds of Hall of Famers cards like this. You know, stuff like this, like a Reggie Jackson. See, it's off center. But still, you know, it's a vintage. Uh, actually, it's a Opeachy uh, Reggie Jackson. Bunch of stuff like this that... Uh, I have in Card Saver 2s, going to be uh, switching them over into uh, these mini snaps. These mini snaps are a lot more clear. They're actually better than, I like them better than top loaders. Of course, they are more expensive than top loaders. But, uh, hey, I like them. Still cheaper than uh, paying $300 to grade one card with PSA or... $75 for to grade one card with the uh, SGC a lot cheaper Craig Nettles when he was with the Indians Sweet Lou Whitaker is This is rook no yeah, that's right it's not his rookie second year card Lou Whitaker Joe Morgan with the all-star uh, rookie trophy like this card got a uh, Bucky Dent the rookie all-star gold cup Bump Willis rookie all-star gold cup I think these are all my rookie all-star gold cups I've been collecting I actually have more in the closet uh, I ran out of these mini snaps so I'll be working on that too Lots of things for me to work on, keep me busy. And this is actually uh, Maury Wills that played with the Dodgers. This is his son, Bump. Let's see what else we got in here. Oops, got a lot of them. Chet Lemon. Got a Gary Templeton uh, rookie gold cup. Good old Ellis Burks. Mark McGuire. So now that I'm done venting, uh, curious uh, what other people are going to do. Uh, is this going to cause uh, this big price increase in grading? Is it going to cause a uh, collector? Obviously, they're forcing uh, regular collectors out of graded cards. If you ask me, it's going to be only for probably these uh, investors. You know, big time investors. Gonna, only ones going to be grading is, uh, you know, these breakers with a lot of money. It's going to be very interesting the next few months. Uh, Jimmy Rollins. Alfonso Soriano. He was a good ball player. Got Juan Soto. Ronald uh, Cunha Jr. Got another Ronald Acuna, different uh, variant tops chrome. Another Juan Soto tops chrome, uh, some type of refractor. Got a Victor Robles tops. Let's see. Got a Fred Lynn. 
spread lid is the perfect example uh, of, you know, a hot rookie card or, you know, a young player that's just tearing up the league, kind of like Juan Soto, that everything can go wrong due to injuries. Fred Lynn, uh, he started off just like uh, Juan Soto, man. Uh, I think he won an MVP, uh, Rookie of the Year. I mean, he was racking up the awards like his first uh, three, four years. And then after that, he was just injury prone throughout his whole career. But even though he was missing games, he still put up uh, decent numbers, you know, with having a, a riddled, uh, injury riddled career, man. But, uh, you know, this guy, his first uh, three, four years, look up, uh, read the Fred Lynn story, look him up. He was on fire, man. And uh, injuries. Aaron Judge. This is a different type of uh, holder here. These ones stack up. I can't remember what these were called. Got uh, Wally Adam Adamas. Who's this? Uh, Wayne Gross. Canseco Joiner. These are boring cards, huh? Let's look at some good ones, some better ones. Devin White, Ron Gant. Let's see what else we got. Let's get some better stuff. How about this one? Brad S. I haven't seen him on YouTube lately. Won this on uh, his channel. It's a Mike Trout. The big old uh, uh, rookie gold cup in there. Very cool. It's awesome. Love this card. All right. Let's move these out. Let's move these over. Let's check out the football box. Got Barry Sanders. Another Barry. Got these uh, Jeff Blake, Brad Johnson. I think I just like the way the card looks, so I put them in here. Pretty neat. Double-sided card. Little Fred Taylor. Atlanta Tude. Eddie George. Tops Chrome. Couple uh, refractors of uh, no name rookies, uh, guys that didn't turn out. Just put them in there because they're refractors. Let's see. Philip Rivers, Calvin Johnson. There's a lot of shiny cards. Oh, I like this one. Troy Palomalo. Looks pretty cool. Tops Chrome. The Damian Tomlinson cards, Tops Chrome and uh, Tops Platinum. Both uh, refractors. Ray Lewis, shout out to my boy Bobbles and Ball cards. Got a Ray Lewis uh, Tops Platinum. Got a Reggie White uh, Select. 1995 Select, Reggie White. Donovan McNabb. Top's Finest. A couple, uh, I think this is uh, 85 Tops, uh, Walter Paytons. Got some Willie Brown. Got some vintage football here. Another Willie Brown. You know what, uh, this guy right here, man, when I was a kid, uh, you know, I lived in a, lived in a pretty, uh, well, I don't want to say crappy town because there's a lot of good people, but, uh, grew up in a pretty poor area and, uh, this guy came to our hometown and went to our school and man, he was the coolest dude ever. Willie Brown, rest in peace, man. Never forget it. Came to, a. Came to the ghetto, man, to hang out with us and play flag football. That's a good man right there. You know, grew up in a small, 
small port town, man. And that dude took the time to go out there and he brought Van McElroy with him. I remember uh, Van, M Van McElroy rolled up in a silver 911 Porsche and we're, our jaws just dropped. You ne we never seen cars like that. Joe Theismann. So Willie Brown, yeah, he brought a bunch of Raiders with him. I think he brought the McKenzie, uh, Reggie McKenzie. I got a big old team photo signed by a bunch of Raiders that uh, Willie Brown, it's signed by Willie Brown too. He brought them with them. And uh, Jim Plunkett uh, was there, got his autograph. It was just, uh, you know, really, uh, really cool because we, you know, there's nothing to do where I grew up but uh, get in trouble, man. And, you know, when kids don't have nothing to do, they get into trouble. So it was good for them to, uh, you know, come hang out with us. Dwight White, Roger Brown, Alan Page, Deacon Jones, uh, Tony Dorsett. Bo Robertson. So anyways, uh, I guess sit here and look at raw cards all day. You guys probably bored out your mind, probably already shut it off. But uh, this is what I'm going back to, getting back to raw collecting. Going to have fun with it. And uh, that's all I got, man. Leave a comment. Uh, what's your strategy now? Uh, are you able to still maintain grading? Are you just going to cut back or continue uh, with business as usual? Or uh, are you just going to do like me and go back to raw, raw card collecting old school? The way we started. So uh, let me know. Curious to know what other people are doing. How they're going to or what they think is going to happen. Other, I like to hear other people's opinions. You know, or uh, do you think graded slabs are going to spike up in price or or things going to maintain and what are you going to do all right thank you bye